let us come to the chapter balance analysis what is dimensional we know very well the representation of physical quantity in the form of exponents or the powers of fundamental quantities that is i am giving example velocity velocity is distance by time and distance is l and time is t so we can write the dimension of velocity as l1 t minus 1 because l by t and the t when it will take to the numerator it will become t minus 1 so like this using the dimensions of various physical quantity how we can explore its applications what are the various applications it can this chapter is important this topic particularly the uses of dimension analysis is important in physics and it will carry out you to the future work okay so let us start what is the first use to convert physical quantity from one system to other how we can convert a physical quantity from one system to other we know various systems one is mts one is cgs okay how to convert them how to relate them by using dimension it is so given suppose a physical quantity given in one system so we have separated two systems one is system 1 another is system 2 and the physical quantity dimension we have to write here dimension in the form n to the power something l to the power something t to the power something here the dimension is not fixed so i have written a b c okay these are the integers now system 1 let m1 l1 t1 be given and n1 also given n1 means the magnitude of the physical quantity suppose 20 kg meter per second this is the this is the magnitude of momentum 20 n1 is 20 okay and in system 2 one, in to which system we have to convert kaha se kis kis ko convert karna hai theek hai isko hame pata lagana hai system 2 hai system 2 mein value of magnitude uska magnitude kya hoga what will be its values we have to find in the following way we have to use homogeneity principle this is important homogeneity principle homogeneity principle kya karta hai jo physical quantity iska value equal rahega in both the system it will be equal so the writing this n1 in system 1 n1 system 2 m1 and the form and the dimensional form of physical quantity is n to the power a so write written here n to the power a then l1 l1 to the power b then t1 t1 to the power c okay written now going to right side system 2 here the system 2 we have to find n2 so i will written n2 then m2 to the power a m2 will take the dimension of physical quantity m2 to the power a l2 similarly l2 to the power b and t2 to the power c and just by resolving we can find n2 equal to n1 m1 by m2 to the power a l1 by m2 to the power b t1 to the power using that formula we have to find the we have to calculate the or we have to um, change transfer the physical quantity from one system to other okay so let us wait we will do an example so that you can clearly understand now let us take a simple example how to convert a physical quantity from one system to other i have taken the example of physical quantity in the form of momentum okay you see the question convert a momentum of 20 gram centimeter per second into its mk system so what we have to do now we have to see what is it 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 so what is it system what is it centimeter per second gram centimeter per second sorry gram centimeter per second is which system is it is cgs so system 1 is cgs it is going to find out okay it is going to find out which system is it then convert into its mk system so we can write here system 1 and system 2 this is the answer system 1 and system 2 system 1 is cgs system 2 is mk you have to consider it in your mind but i have written for your better understanding okay then physical quantity is momentum from the unit we can know it is momentum gram centimeter per second m gram represent for mass and centimeter per second represent for velocity mb so physical quantity dimension written m1 l1 t minus 1 so here in the form of a b c what are a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to 1 समझ में आ रहा है कुछ ठीक है देन हियर वी गो फॉर सीजीएस सिस्टम सिस्टम 1 इन सीजीएस सिस्टम यू नो mk स्टैंड्स फॉर मीटर केजी सेकंड एंड सीजीएस सिस्टम सेंटीमीटर ग्राम सेकंड सो सिस्टम 1 इज गिवन इन mk सीजीएस सिस्टम सो वी विल राइट m1 इक्वल टू 1 ग्राम एंड m2 इक्वल टू सॉरी l1 इक्वल टू 1 सेंटीमीटर t1 इक्वल टू 1 सेकंड t1 इक्वल टू 1 सेकंड ओके एंड n1 equal to 20 the magnitude is 20 you can see here now go to the second system system 2 m2 is 1 kg l2 is 1 meter and t2 is 1 second time is always second then we have to find out this value n2 what is the value of n2 
so using the formula we know that already we have derived in uh, previous in previous class just uh, five minutes before the n2 equal to n1 into n1 into m1 by m2 whole divided by a l1 by l2 upon b q1 by q2 upon c okay so placing the values on n1 is 20 you can see here m1 is 1 gram m2 is 1 kg then l1 is 1 centimeter l2 is 1 meter t1 is 1 second t2 is also 1 second okay over to the second part after placing the values we have to we have to cancel them how we can cancel we have to convert them into one system one system means it is in it is in gram in first in first case it was in 1 gram and 1 kg so we have to convert it either into kg or into gram so let us take gram 1 gram is 10 to the minus 3 kg so 10 to the minus 3 kg then 10 to the power minus 2 meter 1 centimeter 10 to the minus 2 meter so now kg kg cancel meter meter cancel that 1 by 1 1 second by 1 second is 1 and power of 1 any power of 1 is 1 so it is 1 so now 20 into 10 to the minus 3 into 10 to the minus 2 which is equal to 20 into 10 to the minus 5 and simplified 2 into 10 to the minus 4 kg meter per second okay this is the process i have given a simple example and uh, we will explore with more more and more example in the next classes thank you